a lot of uh, our base concern about voter integrity. I know your wife is working on it uh, literally seven days a week, uh, 18, 20 hours a day. Uh, what can you tell our audience today about the efforts in voter integrity so we don't go through what we did in 2020, especially yeah. in Pencil Pennsylvania? Yeah. I think it is by far the toughest challenge um, that exists. Uh, but I can also tell you that I sleep next to somebody every single night that works on it 20 hours a day, every single day, seven days a week. There is not a time that they're not talking about voter integrity. It is the entire mission of, of the RNC. And, you know, uh, they're going to have hundreds of thousands of poll watchers. And every single time they run into a snag, uh, you know, they just ran into one in Detroit. And they're going to you know, file a lawsuit. You know, it's probably going to be this morning um, where you have to have an equal number of Republican poll watchers as, as Democratic poll watchers, and the powers that be just wouldn't let any of the Republicans be poll watchers. And so guess what? After about three seconds of this happening, I said, okay, f fantastic. We're just going to sue you. And and that's literally the new approach under Laura Trump and, and, and under kind of the new RNC. Just, just it's sue. just, you know, if, if you're going to see something that's dirty and if you, you're going to see cheating, just hit it head on and hit it viciously and, and early. And that's exactly what needs to happen. I mean, think about that. You're supposed to have the same amount of poll watchers that are Democrat and Republican. They're supposed to be paired together, right? So you have a checks and balance system. And and we sent literally a list of hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of poll watchers, and they're just they rejected all of them, and they took the the, the Dems. And and so okay, congratulations. We're going to go into federal court or state court um, immediately, and we're going to get an injunction. We're going to get the problem fixed, and we're going to move on to the next one, right? And mm -hmm. I can tell you, they're they're tackling these things every single day, and she is on it um, 24 hours a day, and there's teams of of you know, dozens and dozens of high level people who are on it. And then there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of poll watchers. There's a, you know, it's the biggest operation in the history of this country for election integrity. And um, there's no question that we saw funny business in, in, in 2020. Um, a lot of, about half of the Democrats were, were polled and half the Democrats didn't even believe the, the you know, the, the final results of, of 2020. Um, but not to dwell on that, they're, they're taking care of the, the, the problem and they're, they're watching it very closely. And, and believe me, there is a significant significant focus on this and they're doing everything humanly possible i think they filed 86 87 lawsuits you know among 13 states um you know revolving around you know voter integrity just in clark county in nevada they just cleared the, the voter rolls they took ninety thousand people inactive people off the voter rolls um and they're doing that all across the country i mean you can literally go state by state virginia they did, did it also found six thousand illegal yeah, uh, I think people here uh, voting illegally. Fortunately, you have a you have a great governor, and uh, I I think he went to I think they got rid of the electronic machines. I think right. it's all paper ballots, and I think it's going to be really interesting to watch Virginia and see if that sways uh, you know how, how much vote gets gets swayed based on the fact you know it's going to be kind of interesting to see. But uh, I really commend the governor for what he did.